Hello. Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations in the digital infrastructure community, live from DCD, Virginia today. We are joined by leaders in the industry, including Keith Dunavant. Uh, he is VP Offer Strategy and Portfolio Management for Munters. Welcome, Keith. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. So we'll just dive right, right in here. So um, just over a week ago, Munters actually announced some very exciting news about a big customer win. You're delivering your Cycle Split product to another leading data center colo operator here in the States, here in the US. Um, so can you tell us a little bit more about that? I can't tell you a whole lot more about <laughs> it because of the nature of the relationship with the customer, but I can say that of course, if you haven't read the press release, uh, it was a quite a large order worth mm -hmm. about $137 million US. And uh, I can speak to the technology. Mm -hmm. So what was sold is our SciCool product, which is a thermosiphon based cooling platform, which is unique in the industry. And um, it's a product that's very attractive to a number of our co-location customers because it offers advantages compared to the typical air-cooled chiller platform that's being deployed across a lot of these uh, co-location data centers. Um, it, it's attractive because it's more modular. It installs in uh, cooling blocks starting as low as 125 kilowatt machine that's under development. Will be released sometime late next year. We have a 250 kilowatt machine. We have a 400, a 500 kilowatt machine, which is our most common. And then we have an 800 kilowatt machine that's under development. The other thing that's unique is this technology is can be used for cooling air as well as a circulating liquid for the liquid cooling uh, deployments that are emerging in, in that's where all the buzz is right now. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Maybe we'll jump right in there and and congrats on the huge customer win. That's very exciting. Um, so as a leader in liquid cooling over at Munters, um, is there anything else you could tell us about liquid cooling trends um, as we head into 2024? Yes, I can tell you uh, it's all the rage. Mm -hmm. I was at the OCP conference a couple of weeks ago and. Uh, there was at least about 20 talks, it seems, on on the topic of liquid cooling, a lot about e immersion, cold plate technologies. Uh, the one thing that jumps out is there's a lot of chaos in the market. There's a lot of uncertainty as to which of these technologies is going to emerge as the winners yeah. and the ones that folks should be deploying. And it's... There's a haze around the topic right now with, uh, you know, you've got single phase and two phase immersion. You've got single phase and two phase direct to chip cold plates. Mm -hmm. Those are really the, the dominant. And then, you know, you can augment some of this, augment some of the liquid cooling with uh, rear door heat exchange technology. So there's a lot going on and the it's very, very difficult for the co-location uh, folks in particular to be ready for what's coming. Yeah. So we're working with them very closely. Uh, our products, the, the beautiful thing about the Cycool liquid cooled evaporator is that it's agnostic. We can, uh, we can cool direct to chip, single phase, cold, uh, two phase, immersion, whatever, with a circulating water or glycool loop, PG-25 that's circulating through the building. So we're enabling these customers to be ready for whatever their customers throw at them, yeah. which is really, really um, important. Right. So important in such a fast growing uh, industry that we're in right now. Um, is there is there any other message that you'd like to get out? I, it's, it's quite loud in here. I know it's a, I, I believe um, some of the panels just let out and it's such a buzzing conference. So it's very well attended. But um, is there any other message you'd like to get across to the data center community? Well, I think the important thing is to do your homework, if, if, especially around liquid cooling. Make mm -hmm. sure you're selecting something 
that's going to be manufactured by a reputable supplier that's not going to go out of business anytime soon. They're going to be able to support the warranty of the product. And if you're a manufacturer like Munters, during this rapidly changing time, you need to be nimble and fast. And, uh, you know, my role at Munters is to to listen to the voice of the customer from our sales team and to work with our R&D team to make sure that we're bringing the right products to the market to to uh, meet that demand, that, uh, whether it's a hyperscale tenant or whether it's an enterprise or whatever the customer is. So that's, I would say, my, my final message. And that's, you know, that's really what we excel at at Munters. Mm-hmm. Perfect. All right. That's a perfect way to wrap it up. Thank you so much, Keith, for joining us on JSA TV. Thank you very much. And thank you, viewers, for joining us today live from DCD, Virginia. Happy networking.